unfortunate that three beautiful women cry out his name, but alas, mayhaps that is too, too many. For a name cried out in need and desire is not always positively said. As such is the case now in 1529 in England, and the name is not that of just any Henry, but that of the king. Oh, my name I should give you. It is George Cavendish. Cardinal Wolsey is my lord and master, and to whom I serve. He hath always instructed me to be observant, watchful. I have witnessed much and seen stories unfold, and will now share the tale. And he seems that we know his doom to credit every light tale blasted abroad by the blasphemous mouth of the rude commonality. For we daily hear how with their blasphemous trunk they spread abroad innumerable lies without either shame nor honesty. The occasion, therefore, that maketh me to rehearse these things is this, for as much as I intend, God willing, to write here, some part of the proceedings, whereof some part shall be of my own knowledge, and some of other persons' information. I have witnessed vast sundry surmises and imaginative tales, which I myself have perfectly known to be most untrue. Therefore, I commit the truth to him that knoweth all things. <laughs> 